Hello and welcome to another episode with the Wharf League. I'm JT and this is Sean. You can find me on Twitter at JT underscore the ginger and Sean can be found on Twitter at Sean underscore Beatty. How are we doing, Sean? Very good. Monday. It's pretty nice outside, even still. So, yeah. Except when I mowed, it was really windy and sandy and I busted out my wind goggles. Man, I busted, I bust that out on Friday. I was easy. It was easy. Lots of fun. Yeah, I went to my cousin's wedding and busy weekend and went to Cod Dustal's game. Got a sweet hat. Got some baseball. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, gifted. So shout out to uh, Eric Mertens on Twitter. It's Eric with a K. Mertens, all E's there. Um, he is the peanut guy. He's the MC, DJ. Um, gets the crowd pumped up at Duff Stubbles. I think he's worked there in some capacity. He started out as a peanut vendor, but really nice guy. And I've connected him over our love of minor league hats. And um, I guess it was something that his dad did. His dad passed away four years ago, but he he would always find someone in the stands and gift him something from the either concessions or the store shop and like, hey, here's you know something for a kid or an adult or whatever. So he wanted to do that. And he just surprised he's like here you wear all these copa hats you know here's a veneros hat from tri-city dust i was like cool so that's pretty pretty humbling pretty special and so i had to thank him for that so it was pretty cool there we go eric the peanut guy follow him on twitter Woo. um yeah otherwise we're gonna talk about some worth happenings and some earth rankings updates so let's get to it So first up, I've got the Earth overall rankings. I've zoomed in so we can visually see it better for all of our followers. Oh, look at that. Color-coded. Glarf's logo has that kind of teal, I think, going on. Same with turf, so I had to, like, kind of aqua change it. Barf has probably a deeper orange, but that's what I went with. Nerf has a classic Nerf yellow. And then Worf, we're we're pretty midnight blue, but I mean, come on, if it's Nerf, it's not, it's Nerf or nothing. Come on. <laughs> so all the leagues are hyperlinked, so you can go check out the standings, or you can click along the tabs. Um, go find the the link to this Excel at Worf League on Twitter. Um, but overall, our boy John at the top after this week followed by Lucas Beery and um, Glarf was bragging about having three in the top seven. So we're in the, yeah, that, yeah. Cool beans for them. <laughs> we, need to, we need to step it up, Warfleet. Come on, what are we doing? I don't know. Yeah, we're, we have a few at the bottom and I, I uh, was trying to take a look on like where the gaps were and everything. But man, I could use some saves. I think if I could get like three saves, I'd move up like four spots in, know, our, in our league. Don't you do that? Because I think you'd pass me. I think I'd like four <laughs> on the year. Like if you got like three saves, you'd pass me. I think it's doable. Do you have any any guys that get saves on your team? No, I have Harvey coming back, and that's my one guy that I'm gonna just like a save every like 10 days, and that's just gonna like slowly move me up, and that's all yep. I'm gonna just rely that's- on. That's what Blake Trinan's doing for me. I was just like, okay, let's start him this week. We got, we got like six games against like, so yeah. against two against Houston and four against San Francisco again. Just replace him with your worst one, one starter, like one start starter. And then yep. like, just hope he gets you some saves. Yeah. Yeah. I dropped Urania and yeah, plugging him in. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, Corbin's still holding it down there. Ninth overall. Every day. Man, we're almost two months into this thing, so things are starting to take shape and and um, injuries. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Baseball, you need to cut it out. You need to cut it out. <laughs> like it's re- some of these fantasy teams are just disgusting. <laughs> right. But prop props to uh, Venn Baseball, always near the top here. Dan Harris hanging in there. I think Maddie Wood's been climbing steadily out of the Barf League. 
Oh, hot ham water. That's kind of my uh, <laughs> go-to barometer. Yeah. Oh man, he's he's dropping. Come on. What's the temperature? Oh, How hot is the oh, ham oh, water? It's becoming lukewarm. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I say that he's like 18th overall. Uh, you know. Right. I'm rooting for you, man. The name, you know. the name told me day one. I was talking to Michael Govier earlier. I thought he would get a kick out of my wind goggles. Aaron's there ripping Worf. Oh, you know, and, and DVR. Aren't they, don't they do their podcast together? I haven't listened to Rate and Barrels in a while, but I thought that's who tag teams it. I thought so, yeah. Yep. No, I, I think I know it, but now it's just like I'm being recorded and I'm like, I want to be sure. <laughs> you're, you're on the spot now. Is The internet's forever, JT, so just so you know. Forever, yep. All right, cool. In here. Oh man, I already know what we're gonna talk about right off the bat. We don't have right. to look, we don't have to look at the waiver wire. We have to kind of talk about the trade. You want to go to the trade? I want to go to the trade first. It's a three way deal. Okay, so with the eleventh trade overall in the Worf League, a three sum three way trade between Will, Mikey, and Aaron. Because I had to read it probably three times. I was like, wait, wh who, what? Because the email, it didn't make it clear. So I had to click on, and I couldn't figure out Fantrex was having some cache or cookie or cash, uh, cookie problems. I had a- I like cache. I, I didn't, uh, I didn't do any picks this week other than the ones I already said earlier. I couldn't log in. <laughs> Fan tracks is just jumping up and down, doing jumping jacks for oh, me yeah, and yeah. trying to load. I was like, I come do, on. I was mowing the lawn. And... I do it for it. <laughs> so, Voight, he's back. He's healthy. So, Yankees Voight. Are Yankees are winning ball games. Yeah. Right. Voight goes to Aaron. Hendrix closing down in what? Southside Chicago? Yep. yep. Don't you mess that up, man. Like, Going to whip. <laughs> Going to Will. People in Chicago don't like that. You mess that up. That's big though, because Will's been wanting someone getting saves. Yep, there you go. And then the fireman, the gas man, going to Mikey. It's like he needs more pitching. I thought he had a pretty sick pitching. You never have too many arms. Depth. Maybe he got hit by the IL bug. You never know. Maybe. I mean, he gave up Luke Voigt for him. I mean, that's. Honestly, those all those pitchers depend on um, even on team needs. Even if you just look at them straight up, they're all kind of the same range. So I think it's totally fair for each of them. It was kind of it was just cool that all three of them worked out the, the trade. Right, is creative and abstract. We think outside the box, and are I want to get them. Are we the only league with trades still? Yeah, we're the only we, as we far as I know. I need to. All I feel like combined can you figure out like a one for one? <laughs> I feel. I feel like they would tell me at this point because I keep bringing it back up. I was like, hey, five trades in seven. We have 10 now. I haven't said the 11th, but I want to be like, hey. We have a three-way trade. Two dudes in all the other leagues can't figure out like one dude for one dude. Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah, well. Like, like, somebody figure it out. It would be a good night to brag about. Let's just put, pour it all out because I already just like an hour ago, I said, hey, Worf League is all paid up for the Earth Belt. Our contribution is done, paid in full. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm just, I just uh, went on Will to get back to me, but otherwise, everyone was really say, snappy about we're it. We're on it. I say you're on it, but like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. So yeah, I mean, I should just pour it on. Like, hey, not only are we in double digits, we got number 11, but 11 was a three way trade. And just this league, this league. So there's like a trifecta. There's the one that can't happen is like an off season trade, but we had a during draft trade and a three way trade. We just need a, one player to be traded multiple times, like trade him again. And then like all like the crazy stuff will have happened. Uh, we, yeah. And, and also like two preseason, at least one preseason trade. We did here. And yeah. Well, technically, we had a trade during the draft, 
Yeah. And then I, I at least made a trade before preseason because I made the day before and then the next day. Oh, like I meant like before the draft takes place, like keepers or something like that or trading picks or something like gotcha. that. Gotcha. That's the only one that couldn't have happened that I like – I've been a part of, I've done that. I've traded players like in a league with very small keeper size. I've traded them, um, traded players for that. But like the trade during the draft is like, just like the craziest thing. And it's like super rare, but it, it happens. And so we we're just all over this league is just like wheeling and dealing. We'll need a um, all-star break trade and we'll need like a trade to go through for our deadline at like the 11th hour. Oh yeah. I have to look back up when that date is, but I think it's like late July, early August. It's, me and you are in a league. I mean, we're, we've only done one. I feel like we're due for a couple others at least. So we'll figure something out. Mm-hmm. I just made a trade in that one. That felt pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> you were, you were, you were coaching him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's bring it up because Andrew is our, probably our most avid watcher. Um, he's, the funny story is I he was like, hey, I'm looking at jazz. I like jazz. I was like, who doesn't like jazz? Do you know who else does or used to? Mr. Rogers, RIP. Maybe we wow. could make, wow. maybe that's a sign, Rogers, for, for um, jazz. And he said, yeet. And I was at a wedding and I was like, I don't think that's a positive. I think that's negative. I'm just, I'm old. If I can't even like figure out on the phone. So I had to ask, like, I asked my sister, I was like, does yeet mean like good or bad? She goes, usually it's negative. Like, get that out of here. Like, toss it. I thought, I was like, so I thought yeet was good. <laughs> he, he did too. And so I got back to him the next morning, Sunday morning. And I was like, so I'm, I'm going to just put it out there. Is Yeet a negative? Like you're not feeling that trade? He goes, I thought Yeet was good. It starts with a Y. Y Yes. I thought Yeet was good. Man, you're blowing my mind right now. So I I think I urban dictionary did. And I I think it comes across as literally just like throw it out like hot potato, like just. Yeet, what I see is what I see Googled. It says just means yes. Oh, Uh uh-oh differing opinions all about the context yeah see and, so, and urban dictionary says a different thing yeah oh, so man. anyway it might be a cuss yeah, word at this point i don't know we're probably getting bleeped out as an exclamation of excitement and approval <laughs> oh well I, I, I just threw out there i was like i'm not sure what that meant so can we clarify? And oh my gosh, be... the next one, how to geek, yeet means to throw it away. I, I don't even know anymore. Right. I, don't even, I don't even know anymore. So I'm just, I'm I had to clarify it. And he's like, well, I feel stupid. I was like, don't worry about it. I had to like, I had to, I didn't know. I thought it was good, but then I second guessed. I was like, no, I don't. Think. Anyway, he's like, let's do it. So we made a trade. Miami player for Miami player. Rogers for Jazz. So my side, Andrew will obviously understand this was, I, I literally just said, both right now, I feel like are playing over their heads, looking at their numbers. They're both due for regression. I said, which one? In, it comes down to which one in your eyes is due for less regression. If you think Jazz is less, then honestly, you make the trade. If you think Roger is, then you then you don't. That's what it comes down to. And he was like uh, asking other players, and I was like, yeah, it's probably too much. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Rogers for Jazz seems totally fine. Just it's whatever you depend on your preference, like whatever player you prefer because it seems like a pretty fair deal. That's that's why I talked to him. He was going to drag this out a little bit longer. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, You're so impartial. You're so good about that. I should be more partial. <laughs> it would help my fantasy. Yeah, community. yeah, that's true. I was just like, yeah, I need a solid pitcher. And he's young. And he could be a keeper for me next year because I am i don't know who I'm going to be able to keep next year. Yeah, this is my, our home league, by the way. I'm not yeah. talking worth right now. Can I talk about one more thing in our home league? Yeah. So I had a text with JT and our buddy Rob about that. We were talking about that. And I was talking about somebody like going off or something like that. And I was like, oh, don't worry. My luck will ruin this. And you guys are both talking like, oh, you're this. You've got this. This is so early. You don't have to trade off. You don't have to sell everything. And I texted you guys what? Like a couple days later, I'm like, guys, it's Friday. And the guy <laughs> I'm against has a zero ERA. What the hell is <laughs> happening right now? <laughs> like he has 24 innings pitched and has not given up a run. Like, you talk Last about I saw it was 26 and the third. The level change. I'm like, dude, like the greatest week ever is happening right now. As soon as you say that, stop talking. Like, yeah. And then I had a really good dad joke. 
you did have a good dad joke. I mean, yeah. Know. Yeah, because I saw he clips the 39 threshold, but I was like, oh, zero isn't zero. Oh, who did it? Oh, use Mero. Petite gave up a petite amount of earned runs there. He still beat me in the array. Moral story, but whatever. Yeah, well, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's zero. Yeah. Anyways, um, all right, let's get some to some fabinings. I think week nine we're on a fab officially. Matt Shoemaker gets picked back up. I think I dropped him a week or two ago. So he's got a pulse, but man, he's his K to walk is like point something. I don't even think it's one over the last month at this point, but if you can get a good good schedule or some matchups, maybe it's worth it to to Ryan. Well, like you said, he has a pulse. There's yeah. there's some people who need bodies. Uh, see, I picked up Luke Weaver just because I want to send him on my IL. I think that's that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Although he's getting his second opinion on his shoulder, so at least it's zero units. <laughs> we don't have a cap on acquisitions. Yeah. Freeland, I'm sure we're thinking along the same thing <laughs> for is it Danny and I. Ooh, Duran gets picked up. 39 fad units to Andy. Oh, Daniel Vogelbots gets dropped for Danny Santana. Oh, man. Ooh, 63. Those are some units on Danny yeah. Santana. Was he coming off the IL? I haven't seen his name much. Yeah, he's only had 10 at-bats. Oh, okay. Yeah, playing in Boston, too. Where's he playing every day? Is he getting cracked at first base? I would think so. I mean, defensive versatility, but he's only. I haven't really thought about him in a in a long while. He had that one really stellar year. Yeah. Where's he at? No, Dahlbeck. Man, he's still getting that playing time, man. Center field. All right. All right. Playing in Boston. Anytime you're playing in Boston, you should be able to hit. So, sorry, we went down that we went down that rabbit hole. Woo! Oh, and then it reset me. Let's go find him. There, there he there. is. Perez gets picked up for Stripling. I think Stripling's losing his starting rotation spot. So, yeah. no. solid there. Kelly for Tyrone. Tyrone's yeah. still playing, but probably sparingly at this point with. Yeah, out of the lineup. Yep. Yep. Garcia and Kane and Bradley. And then now Yelich is coming back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just so crowded outfield. DJ Peters. Ooh. It's, a, it's someone just wears a Dodger uniform. You got to pick them up. Yeah. That's what the Mariners thought. And they just picked up what's his name off waivers. So I didn't <laughs> get to see like, what did Corey Seager do. He got hit in the hand. Oh, I don't know about tonight. No, but like that's why he's going. Oh, Corey him. Seager. Excuse Corey. me. I was talking Mariners. I was thinking yeah. the other Seager. When we we're talking Dodgers Mariners, we got to clarify. I know he said Corey, but it didn't click. Yeah. So yeah. Like, he he non displaced broken um, fifth Ooh. metatarsal. Is that the correct verbiage? Yeah. So, yeah. Out, what, six weeks, I think? Four, at least four. Yeah. So, I don't know if it matters if it was non displaced. Place, I guess maybe surgery wasn't needed. He just yeah, that, cast that, it. That's easier. So again, Aaron Sanchez. I just threw him on the IL just for funsies, and that's all I did this week. Because I, I should have got a catcher, but more than I did. <laughs> Caprillion. It's just a fun name to say. Say it with me. Caprillion. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron picks him up. Twenty-one units. Lester. What's is Lester just it's not like the Dodger thing? It's an Oakland A's pitcher. You just pick him up because that's what they do. Yeah. Yeah, it's just he's just kind of Lester. <laughs> like just getting shelled by his old team. And then Baltimore. And Baltimore. It's the weather's warming up. It's not a good sign. And Baltimore wants to die. Boobick. Someone who was like boobed boob thick, but with not that kind of thick. That came out wrong. Yeah, but yeah, I did. I did. just double C's. Bubik. 
He's a stat boy. He does. He doesn't skip leg day. Him and Corbin could yeah, be yeah, leg yeah, day yeah. buddies. I'm surprised Corbin didn't go after him. <laughs> right? Never skip leg day. McCann, he might get first base eligibility if not too long. The way that Mets lineup is looking like a double A lineup. <laughs> or is it? Is it more of an insult to say triple A because most talent sits at double A anymore? Well, if you're you, we're Mariner fans, man. You can't be talking about other teams hitting and then hitting you're so bad and then just you're setting yourself up man you're setting yourself up although jared kelly can home run tonight so there you go yeah oh i saw a really interesting thing i'm probably i hope we're on the same page but um is it the welsh tweeted out would you rather have kelnick for the rest of the year for 2021 like redraft or would you have rather have franco wander um, for the rest of the year, only 2021, just for this year. Franco. Whoa, okay. You want to talk about it? Because I was going to say Kelnick. Uh, I just feel like opportunities for Wander Franco, he'll make up for – I can't imagine – it's obviously because I think he's not going to be down there much longer, obviously. Because um, if it's like an all-star break thing, obviously it would be Kelnick. But I think he's going to be up much sooner. And when he's up, it, it, that lineup and that opportunities are going to be so much more for him. It really player-wise, this is obviously fantasy. Player-wise, the its gap is much shorter, I think, because Kelnick is up a little bit longer. But I just think Juan Franco with that lineup and where he's going to sit, it's going to be better for him to put up numbers than Kelnick. There's just okay. nothing like RBIs wise. He's going like just no opportunity for him, anything for him. Right. And I think, I mean, stolen base is fine, but like Wander is going to probably do that too. So I just, I just, I think runs, his runs and RBIs will just be so much more. Right. Yeah. I think I was leaning the other way. I was going to go Kelnick. And I feel fairly confident in that based on team situation. Kelnick is up and playing. They're not doing well. He's just going to get his bumps and bruises out of the way now. Um, Wander is not on the 40 man. Tampa Bay is on a huge winning streak. Uh, they're doing well. I don't see they traded their shortstop away, Willie Adamas. Oh, I guess they would have an opening on the 40 man. I don't know and what happened with that. I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I think I know it's Walls got called up, there. but I mean, yeah, come on. <laughs> who's, the, who's the other stud there with Wander for in Durham? He's oh, on I the... they meant stud in the major team because that's Mike Zanino, of course. <laughs> No, it's it's um, is it Bruhan Vidal Bruhan? I don't, I don't know. He's the other one. He's actually on the forty man there, but he's in Durham at AAA. So I don't know. It just seems more likely. But Wanders, he's playing everywhere. So um, just watch they're it. grooming him to be able just to fill in at any given moment. But I just watch I just, him play in the minors. Is it's just stupid. Yeah, just stupid. I just don't like how Tampa Bay really like. I would I would hope they would not baby him as much with matchups and everything but i just feel like kelnick's going to get more opportunity more at bats and and i think just the math equation wise i i lean that way otherwise like what you're saying i, I understand where it comes from there yeah the, uh, mine just comes i think you'll be up sooner rather than later yep yep and i'm thinking probably yeah past yeah. all-star maybe not even into that whole september thing i don't know that that'd be a bummer but Ooh, another fun name. Say it with me. Poteet. <laughs> I wasn't looking. I was actually looking. At <laughs> I know. I, I didn't know which name you would say. There's a lot. I was, I was, like, I was like, oh, gosh, who are we at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about him, but for 199 units, let's take a deeper look. Right-hander. 26 years old. At a, okay. Yep. Miami. What was he? What's he sporting? 6'1, 190. Okay. Three starts. 13 to K, 13 to 2K to walk, 17. Hmm. Oh, and he can hit. Guess what? <laughs> so. Dingers. Okay, he showed up against the Mets. Like we said, that's not a big deal anymore. But his last time against Philly, solid. So that's cool. Drop in. 
Rugnet Odor, which is how what's the word for that when you rearrange the letters? Grounder, grounded. That's what I look at for Odor. Um, Arietta, just like Lester. Let's drop him. Dobnak's back. Look at that facial hair. Can we get a closer? Oh, that's a little bit bigger picture there. Just solid facial hair. All facial hair team. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to talk about name. Chi Chi Gonzalez was also picked up. So. Ooh. Love me some Chi Chi. Colorado. Dro dropping Dolis. Romano's, I think, pretty much taken over up there. Right? For a closer. They've had a kind of a carousel of injuries. Yep. There's Walls. Smata getting 59 units for Walls. Getting called up. Elvis, Elvis Andrews dropped. I thought this dude would kind of like, not going to lie, I thought he would kind of have the Oakland resurgence that some of these random players seem to have. Right. Didn't seem to, at least not yet. I like Pinder. I yeah. kind of forgot he got dropped. Oh, I, didn't, I, didn't I, should have... dropped him. I didn't even see he dropped him from their Oakland guy. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I probably would have spec added him if I knew he was back and healthy. I, I kind of Lost sight of that because he started off pretty well and then he got he got injured early and I kind of Kevin I, mean, I put him on my watch list but I hardly ever like oh who's on the watch list dreamy eyes Kevin Kiermeyer I have a coworker who's learning her boyfriend is a uh, Rays fan from from Florida went to school with Mike Zanino um, and uh, she, she's like she just was watching baseball this last year and really learning about it and she's like well this you know this uh, Willie Domus or not Willie Dom um, uh, a Rosarena is like a really good looking ball player. I was like, no, no, no. Kevin Kiermeyer is a good looking ball player. And she's like, you're right. I, should, I Googled immediately. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. It's got dreamy eyes, man. Yeah, like a gray blue, good, good eyebrows as gonna, well. We're going to sidetrack here. There's nothing wrong with William. Or, uh, I keep saying William Thomas. <laughs> um, Randy Rosarena, good looking dude, in shape, yoked. But Kevin Kiermeyer is just dreamy, man. Kill He's one. Dream boat. Kill one, marry one. Uh, like it's Kevin Kiermaier all day. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> what about Delino? How does that how does that go for you? He's got a little salt and pepper in the beard. I like the salt and pepper. Um, I honestly don't know what Delano De Shields looks like anymore. I haven't seen, probably seen him since he was what? what man. Well, he's in Texas, but he's got a he the Reds guy, cap on. He the guy in Texas years ago who made that crazy spinning catch in center field on the wall. That's always what I think about when I think of Delano De Shields. <laughs> Always like it was nuts. Hat, hat tip. Yeah. <sighs> Hudson, Corbin, Savvy, two units for what's looking like might get the closer role here. Things are not going well for the rest skip, of the bullpen. Why you don't skip leg day, JT? <laughs> Corbin just making these deals. Newman for a unit. Tom Hatch. Who's that guy? Tom Hatch. Tom Hatch out of Tulsa, 26, 61205. There we go. <laughs> Oklahoma State. Deep boy. What's he been up to? Rehab start, triple A. Getting stretched out. Okay, so maybe he's thinking Hatch might get the call with stripling falling out of favor. Yeah. It's piercing that keeps. What did I say to start the season? I don't know if I said on this podcast, Toronto can't pitch. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like everyone's like, they're going to be so good. No, they can't pitch. Like, uh, is, it a, is it a latitude issue? It's a Canadian issue. It's the, it's the, the um, exchange rate. They just, they don't figure out how pitches work. So they have to pay more. Yes. Mm, not as strong up there. It doesn't transfer or travel. It transfers to their bats because holy crap. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, because then this morning I had to make some moves. So that's just me cleaning that. Oh, wait a oh, minute. Oh, you thought and you thought. Kevin Newman just, we just saw his name. He just got picked up for a unit and then dropped. Huh. Maybe someone came off injury earlier than expected. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, it was a dollar. I can't think of anyone who would be, so we're going to investigate. Oh, my God. This is what we do. Who did he probably think he wasn't expecting? How many, how many 
Hmm. Oh, scroll up, scroll up. He has a minor league player. Sure, but... I, didn't a, I didn't see a minor league player. Maybe a minor league infielder. Andres. Andres Jimenez. What's, what's his update? Maybe he's coming up sooner rather than later. Oh, oh it's okay. option down. So, no, he would almost. Maybe it was uh, Polanco. Not sure if he was actually going to go on the IL or not with the ankle. And then since he didn't before the start of the game. I don't know. But he's still, like, out, but he didn't go on it before the start, maybe. I don't know. That's the investigativeness that we do here. <laughs> on the fly. I don't, we came up with the, I don't know, like, at the end. I don't know. Most likely scenario is Will probably knows what he's doing. So I trust him. Murdered. Done. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So anyways, yeah, we're all paid up on the belt. Um, I haven't really touched base with Kevin on how the build's going because school's still in session. Doesn't get for summer break for another month or so. But for us, I'm there. I know. So I'm excited for some progress there and see if he wants any help with it. Um, but otherwise, things are going good with Worf and trying to do some chats and just everyone's ghosting me, but that's fine. I'm going to keep trying <laughs> and whatever. I was a little bummed, but I don't know. People are busy. Them down, JT. Grind these at-bats out. Grind and them out. Everyone. These, we're getting to the dog days now. You got to grind these out. <laughs> we're almost 50 games in. 50. Those 100 games in the middle there. Right. Oh, Everyone 50 games. wins or loses 50. 50. 50. Sorry, 50 games in the middle. I yeah. swear I, I'm going for a master's in math. Like, I'm fine. Like, math is hard. Okay? Boom. <laughs> Boom. All right. He is Sean. Find him on Twitter at Sean underscore Beatty. I'm JT. Find me on Twitter at JT underscore the ginger. This is the Worf League at Worf League on Twitter and YouTube. Other than that, um, keep enjoying your baseball. Be well, stay safe, and until next time. Bye. Bye.